Let's see question 10. The diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows a circle with center O right here. The points A, B, C, and D. The points A, B, C, and D. That's A, B, C, and D are on the circumference of a circle. Good. Now, EAF. All right. EAF and EGD. EDG. EDG are tangents to the circle at A and D, respectively. Okay, good. No, O, no, A, O, D, angle, A, O, D, A, O, D, so that's this angle here, is 114 degrees, you can see that, angle, C, D, G, C, D, G, is 18 degrees, alright, so you can see that as well. Now, it says, calculate giving reasons for each step of your answer. The measure of ACD. Let me just copy these and put them in one place. Angle ACD. Okay, let me put it here. I need ACD. I need angle A E D so that's A E D and angle O A C quite a bit of angles here. Angle OAC, angle, there's another one there. Let's see if there's any more. Okay. Angle ABC. Am I? Might. And I'm going to ABC. All right. Hmm. Let's see now. Angle ACD. ACD. Now, where's that? ACD. So they want this angle first. ACD. Let's see how you deal with that. You know that when you have all of this figure, a circle, one circle theorem states that when you have a card, this is the center, when an angle on the card lies at the center and another angle at the same card in the same segment lies at the circumference the angle at the circumference is half the angle at the center so if this is 2x this is x okay now what's happening here this is our card that we we're looking at right now this is the angle at the center and another angle at this uh, on the same card at the circumference. So this angle would be half of this angle. So this angle here 
would be half of 114. You see that? So that's 114 over 2. 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 11 goes 5 times 1, 1, 2 into 14 goes 7. So the angle here would be 57. So I say that ACD is 57 degrees. Alright? Half of the 114 here. So that's my word on that. Now, AED, can you identify the angle AED? Can you pause the video and identify the angle AED and then find it? Do that. Alright, so let's see. The angle AED, AED would be this angle here angle AED how do you find that now let's see you know that first of all let's look at this I'm looking at this quadrilateral here looking at all of this here all right looking at that now this angle is 114 what is this angle here it's 90 because we have the radius of a circle at the point of tangency right here so this is 90 this also is 90 you know that all four angles add up to add up to to 360 so our 114 plus our 90 plus our 90 plus the angle at E is 360 so let's see what happens here 90 and 90 180 so 114 plus 180 will be 4 and 0 4 8 and 1 9 2 and 1 2 so our angle at E would be 360 minus 2 94 let's save some time 360 minus 294 is 360 minus 294 is going to be 66 so we have 66 so in this case 66 degrees so we have our AED at 66 degrees, all right? That's 66 degrees there. So that's my working for that, all right? Now, angle OAC. OAC. Let's see if we can get that one. O A C. Okay. My. That's this little angle right here that they want us to find. Interesting. Alright. So, what we have. Let's see angles that we have so far. We know ACD, we know this is 57, okay. We know that all of this would be 90. 
but then you have a, an 18 degrees so this angle here right here would be 90 minus 18 90 minus 18 is what? 90 minus 10 is 80 80 minus 8 72 alright so that 72 would be right here so let me get rid of this and this so that angle right there would be 72 right in here all right so that's 72 degrees in here how would that help us ah guess what we could find this angle too you know this is an isosceles triangle let me repeat that triangle here if you have 114 up here and you know this AO and OD would be the same they're radii of the same circle so this angle and this angle would be the same let's call them X and X for argument's sake so all three would add up to 180 so X plus X this and this X plus X plus 114 would be 180 so 2x would be 180 minus 114 so you have 180 minus or 114 would be 60 oh yeah 66 mm. would be 66 in that case so 2 times what gives you 66 2 times 33 with your 66 so x would be 33 so this is 33 let me write it a little clearer so this angle would be 33 degrees okay so the 33 and the 72 would add up to 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 105 all of this angle would amount to 105 you see that so therefore what would this angle be what we have let me just redraw this triangle here with a A this is C this is D so the triangle that I'm redrawing here is really this triangle, right? That's the triangle that I'm redrawing. And here is 57, 105. So this would be what? 57 and 105 is there already. So 180 minus all of that, 180 minus 57 minus 105, give 18. So this would be 18. And you notice it's the same angle as here, right? The same angle as here. All right, so this is 18. So, what you could say now, is that if all of this, all of this is 33, just like this here is 33, right this is a 33 I saw so this is 33 as well what you remain in this little corner here right there will be 33 minus 18 all right so you would subtract and say 33 minus 18 
and you get 15 so it seems as if it would be 15 degrees all right so seems as if um, OAC OAC is 15 degrees put the degrees here 15 right here in this in this corner all right No. Let's see what else happens here. Mm -hmm. This nice, nice. You add them, right? Just checking, making sure everything is all right, and making sure that they add up. Okay, now ABC. Where is ABC? ABC. Okay, this angle is what they want you to find next. Angle ABC. Let me just erase some of this. Let's erase some of the rough work. All right. Now you notice that ABC is lying on the card AC and ADC is also lying on the card AC now you have this circle theorem that goes like this when you have a circle let's say this is our card the diameter this angle in this segment would be what what do you think 90 and this angle in the alternate segment mm, is also 90 this my are trying to make this a straight line it's also 90 so they add up to 180 right and I'm saying suppose you have this card very small card All right, small card here this angle would be wide and this angle would be narrow and if you make this angle wide so that his approach is 180 this angle would be narrow so that his approach is zero so they still add up to 180 so at every point they still add up to 180 now we found that this angle here was what 105 let me just do a little erasing here of the previous work So here, 105 degrees. You see that? 105 degrees. Now, the card that I'm looking at is this. This in one segment this is in the alternate segment so they would add up to 180 so what you would find is that 180 minus 105 would be 75 so based on that argument this angle here would be 75 degrees so 75 okay so those are all four angles that were asked to find let's see what happens later in this question okay so part b will deal with part b another time i'll see you then